I made cake today. <laughs> so it's been two weeks since my last video. I've been a little bit busy in that time. I went to Comic Con and I said I would do a video on Comic Con, but all my footage has been distorted and deleted and it's really such a shame because I got quite a lot of footage and only half of it has survived and it's not enough to make a video out of. Boo. At Wales Comic Con though I did have a really fantastic time. I got to meet the whole Atlantis cast which was fantastic. Jack Donnelly and Robert Ems were just brilliant and so was Aisha Hart. Um, Mark Addy was completely swarmed by people the whole day because he's obviously done so much more than them. But I got kisses off Jack Donnelly and hugs off all of them and they were just really fantastic so yeah. I also saw Chris Rankin from Harry Potter and Warwick Davis and they were both equally lovely as well. I stubbed my toe and almost broke it because my dog pulled me off my bike and into a concrete bin which is really not as fun as it sounds. And I've been learning lines for a play that I'm going to be in in July on my birthday actually. So that will be fun. So sorry in the delay of uploading a video again. I should do it more regularly but I have been incredibly busy. So I hope you forgive me and I hope you enjoy this one. <laughs> so as I'm sure most of you probably know that I'm English, telling by my accent. And today I just wanted to do something that's a little bit British. I made a list of stereotypical things and I wanted to say if they were fact or fiction. So here we go. Us Brits love tea. That's true. We definitely love tea. I literally made a cup of tea just so that I could do that single sip. We talk about the weather a lot. That is also true. It's almost as if the people we're talking to about the weather have never looked through a window. They're looking out the window at the same time as us and we still say that it's raining outside. Or, oh, oh, it looks like it's about to snow. Why? Why do we do that? Why? We love to queue. Well, like, queuing, lining up, waiting. We British are renowned for queuing. We, we don't love it though. I wouldn't say we would love it, but we put up with it. We're willing to do it. We're patient and so that, that one's true. We have bad teeth. False. I mean, some people have bad teeth, but like all over the world, some people have bad teeth. I don't think my teeth are particularly bad. I used to want braces when I was younger as well though. It rains every day. Here is proof that it does not rain every day. We're all posh and talk like the Queen, or we're Cockney, from London. No. There is no such thing as a British accent, because all over the country, there's different places where there's different accents. So, I've kind of got a weird one, because I lived in America for six years, came back to England to live, and I've got kind of an American twang. Living in Gloucestershire countryside, you've got the people who are like proper farmer-like, and talk like this, and it's really funny, and really Bristolian, and that's how we talk over here. And other places like Liverpool, you've got a different accent, and Manchester and Birmingham, like everywhere you go there's a different accent. So there is no such thing as a British accent, so that one is false. All men wear top hats or tails and kilts. Again, not true. I wish it was. Men are a thousand times more sexy if they're in a suit that's well fitted to them. I am another prime example that we do not all wear top hats. I actually really love this little flower thing and I haven't ever had a chance to show it off so I'm going to show it off in this video. All British people play cricket. Again, false. I've never played cricket in my life. I've never even watched a cricket game. I wouldn't know how to play it to be honest. Um, all I know is you've got to hit the ball and run back and forth, but I don't know why. <laughs> we all have pale skin. Unfortunately, this is mostly true. We do not get enough sunshine over here to have a proper tan and when the sun does come out we're so pale and pasty that we get sunburnt within an hour. So sadly this one's true. We all know the Queen personally and we go around her house and drink tea every Saturday. False. I've never met the Queen. Not every single person in Britain knows the Queen personally. I'll tell you that now. Let alone go around to her house for tea every Saturday. No. <laughs> I've got close to the Queen, I've never met her. I got within 10 feet of her at the royal wedding and that's probably as close as I'll ever get. If you live in the countryside, you're a farmer. Half true, half not. I live in the countryside and I'm not a farmer. 
but most of the people who are here are farmers. <laughs> we say gosh a lot. Okay, so some people say gosh a lot. I wouldn't say the whole of the United Kingdom says gosh a lot. Um, gosh is sounding really weird now, it's not sounding like a proper word. Gosh, 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 gosh. Sounds like a noise you make when you hit something. Gosh. Yeah. Everybody is polite. Absolute utter crap. <laughs> I have met so many rude people on the roads, um, on the streets. There are a lot of rude people here. But equally, not to put anyone off coming to England, there are a lot of lovely people here. Thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy my upcoming videos. Don't listen